In this video, I'm going to show you how you can embed ASS subtitles or alpha substation subtitles in an MP4 file. Hi, my name is David, and if this is your first time watching my video tutorials and you learn something from what you watch, kindly consider subscribing, liking the video, and sharing it with your friends. To begin, uh, we have a .srt subtitle, which is, an, uh, which is a subrip subtitle, and an MP4 file. So for starters, we'll need to convert the SRT subtitle to ASS. ASS or Alpha Substation Subtitles support formatting and even text placement and all that. So uh, I'll just right click on it and click on open with, let's say IG sub. Let's just use IG sub for this. Uh, and it's going to open up uh, inside here. And then I'll just go to video, open video. And then we'll select the video that we want to use and just click on open. It's going to index and then open up. So uh, here we have our video. If I just double click on this subtitle, you'll see it down here. Uh, we can change the way it looks uh, by just coming to edit. And let's say we remove the shadow, the shadow that's behind the text. Let's say we put a zero on it. And let's say instead of having that shadow, let's say we do an opaque box. Let's have a black opaque box uh, behind it. So potentially that looks good to me. Uh, something else I might need to do is just change the font size, let's say 28. And we can just click on apply. So you see the text is a little bit bigger and it pops out a little bit. So we can just say OK. And you see now the text is uh, uh, is bigger, has a good background and all that. Uh, SRT files cannot support this background. And uh, let's say placement, for example, if I just come up here and just double click on this section, the text will move from the bottom to up here. If I click on the next line, you'll notice that the text is down here. Let's say I want it to be on this side. I'll just double click there. But that's uh, way far too out. Let's double click there. It comes in there. Let's go to the third line. Let's say you want it somewhere here. It goes to the other direction. Uh, I can just bring it back here. Uh, you can keep doing that and placing the text where you want it to be. But mostly instead of doing uh, the the directions are uh, the positions that I've put this uh, the text above. You can just decide to go the with the bottom and top part, especially the top part when you have content that is being obscured down here. So we've already done a couple of placements for this. So I cannot save this file as a .srt file because the .srt file we strip all the positioning that I've done and the formatting that is uh, the background that I have for this. So I'll just come to file. Save subtitle as, and I'll save it in the folder that I want to use it, and I'll save it as uh, advanced substation alpha. So here we have it, and just click on save. And once I click on save, this subtitle has a background and has the positionings that I've done on these three uh, uh, on these three lines of the subtitle. I can just minimize this, and here is our new .ass subtitle. Now, what I need to do to merge this uh, subtitle and the video is use MKV Toolnix. I'll just open it up. Uh, in, uh, basically, what we'll need to do here is just a simple process that takes just a couple of seconds. Since this is not permanently burning in uh, the subtitle, it's just embedding. I can just uh, click on the video and the ASS subtitle and just drag and drop it inside uh, the source file section and you'll get a prompt i just need to add a new source click on ok and uh, the files will be added now this is an mp4 this is an ass and then you'll get the mp4 uh, the audio stream and the uh, substation alpha and we can identify this as english let's press on e english and let's say we want it to be the default track yes and now once you're done with that, set the destination of the file. So we'll just come here and let's add, let's say, with ASS embedded .mp4 and just click on save. And once I click on save, I'll just click on start multiplexing and you'll notice that it's going to just blaze through. Just click on start multiplexing. If I check our folder, we already have a new file. And if we check down here, it's already done. 
So if we just uh, open this up, you'll see that it's already here. Now, if I just, uh, let's, let's first of all start with this one. If I just double click on it to open in VLC, with the reason you'll notice that it doesn't have any subtitles. There's no subtitle uh, available for this. But with the subtitle that we have embedded, the ASS subtitle, if I just double click on it. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, my name is David from freelancerinsights.com, where we believe you should never stop learning. Now we can all appreciate that the subtitles have uh, the placement and the background that we want. That is the ASS subtitle. If I just right click on it, go to subtitle track, subtitle, you'll notice that the track is already embedded. If I disable it and play the same video. With the recent update on the YouTube interface, it's now... It the subtitles will not play, but if I also re-enable it, then it's going to play. So basically... ...easier than before to download YouTube transcripts. Hi, Here my name go. is David from freelancerinsights.com where we believe you should never So stop. basically what I'm driving at is that you can use MKV Toolnix to embed ASS subtitles into your MP4 video file. So that's how you do it. If you got any value from this video, kindly like the video, share the video, and consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you for watching.